Hello, hello, hello. We are live. We are live. We are back and live once again. Today, I wanted to use some traditional Chinese chords. So I used bossa nova chords the other day. Let's go in with some traditional Chinese chords. I can build something off that. Um, I didn't do any like listening to Chinese music beforehand, but growing up, uh, my stepmom, she is Chinese, and I grew up listening to a lot of like traditional Chinese music growing up. So I kind of like get a little bit. I gotta get a little bit of the gist of some of the traditional Chinese music just through like just being exposed to it when I was younger. Obviously, there's, like, a lot of things I, I'm not sure of, and uh, I will probably go and, like, listen to some maybe later today or another time to kind of get some idea of the way they approach these songs kind of, like, vocally and stuff, because I will be wanting to get some vocals on this eventually. Um, but, yeah, if you enjoy music watching people make beats music making process behind the scenes stuff like that make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell i do music streams every day whether that's making beats working on a beat i already made um doing little challenges like this like is a little challenge i created myself after today i was like you know what why don't i just go ahead and use some traditional chinese chords and just make a beat from that but yeah yeah make sure you follow subscribe notification bell so you don't miss out all that good stuff. And yeah, let's get started. Good morning. Hello, Fight for Light. What makes music sound Chinese? It uses different, um, yeah, there's different scales and chords that are used in Chinese music. Like in my Bossa Nova um, beat, I used Bossa Nova chords because there's like certain tendencies that genres or um, certain types of music will have. What's up, just want to. What's up, Shido? Hello, hello. Yeah, so different types of music, uh, they have different tendencies. So the scales and keys that are used in Asian music is uh, like, the, like dun, 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 dun. you know, like, you know, you, you can kind of like tell like something like that. Like, I don't know exactly what that means, that little melody I did, but like for me, that's like I associate that little like kind of like melody with like Asian music, you know, um, also like different instruments and stuff like that. Um, but obviously I'm using a DAW and electronic instruments. I will probably go ahead and get some kind of like traditional Chinese instrument um, later on. But I'm just going to go ahead and use what I have right now. I'm going to get down some chords. Um, and then I'll build something off of these later. So we're using F sharp minor. So let me just get this down. Just so. Just to like have a basis. Just to have a basis. Um, Mandarin action. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Giga Nerd? Hello, make jungle type stuff. Like uh, vocals later, you like break core. You're only adding pink pandas because of manipulation. <laughs> what a, is a traditional Chinese chord? K-Brus. Um, well, they're chords that are used in traditional Chinese music. Do I know music theory? I know a little bit in terms of like, I kind of know like what are things that sound good together. I was in band. I played the French horn for three years. I was in cor in choir and stuff like that. But in terms of knowing specific chords and stuff like that, I am not very like educated on that. So I'm using things like uh, like this concept here, using traditional Chinese chords as a way to kind of dive in to different um, different aspects of music. I will be learning some music theory along the way. Thank you, Kabras. Love you, makeup. Thank you, thank you. Um, but this is an F sharp minor chord here. 
Um, yeah, so I thought of like, okay, well, what if I made like a song using traditional Chinese chords? So that will help me kind of learn a little bit about um, kind of like the Chinese culture. I love learning about different cultures also as well. So that helps make it more fun and interesting for me. Um, but I think this is like a cool way to kind of force myself into learning some music theory as well as cultures of different uh, parts of the world and all that because like I, I really do enjoy um, kind of learning stuff like that like kind of like history culture and stuff um, yeah there's so much information about music theory online um but yeah, would love to see me on the French horn. I don't have a French horn anymore. Those things are expensive. Brass instruments and stuff are expensive. My parents bought me a used French horn for like $2,000 when I was in school. All right, so this is an F sharp minor, and then we're going to get a B minor chord. This is going to be in no particular order right now. Um, B. Yo. <laughs> Yo, I just actually started playing some stuff in the background. Okay. That's a lot of money, yeah. Love from Assam, India, awesome. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, $2,000 for a used French horn. But like, you know, I didn't want to play the French horn at first, but, um, you know, once I, once I did it, uh, I was, you know, I think it was a really good experience for sure. It was very fun. And I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to, like, not have that. <laughs> you know? You feel me? All right, let me think. Stop. I don't want to get any copyright. I don't want this. I'm going to mute this tab. I don't want to get any, like, random copyright things. Yo, Mike, Mike Jean. Hello, hello. All right, we're gonna be getting some more. Why can't I keep this? Can I keep this? I wanna keep this up. All right, well, it's fine. Okay, D, I wanna get a D chord. Just to have these ready for when I need them. D, F sharp. A, E, or I want E, G sharp, oh no, I'm wrong, I don't want, actually wait, I do want G sharp, and then I want B, and then, uh, what else? E5. I don't know what that means. Oh, so that's just two. We're just gonna, okay, this is in no particular order. E minor. All right, all right. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We are going to be constructing this beats very soon. Okay, we are super close.
Okay, I think um this should be perfectly fine. Okay. All right, we got the cards. We got the cards that we would like to use and now we can like construct our beat using these cords. These are all of these are the eight different cords. This is more than enough to play with. I don't know if I'm going to use them all, but let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do here. Good morning, Ezekiel. Good morning, good morning. Like, that is, like, not... That is not the mood. Good morning. What time is it for you? It's 9.44 for me. All right, all right. <clears throat> What's up, Easy DJ? Happy New Year. Thank you, thank you. Happy New Year to you too. Happy New Year to everybody. How long have I been producing? I've been producing for like, like seriously producing for like six months, if I were late. Shinjuku, go with the flow, go with the flow. Yeah, it's like best to not overthink it. I'm not trying to make a traditional Chinese song. I am trying to use the chords, but <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be trying to go with the flow. Go with sounds good. That sounds nice. Hola, Colmea. What's up, Keona? Hablo español. 
Si alguien quiere hablar es, eh, español conmigo, está bien. Está bien. It's all right. It's all good if you want to speak your Spanish. I speak uh, español. <laughs> all right, let's see. Good day, good day, meme kid. Portugués. Ah, hablas portugués. No hablo portugués, pero. Bom día. <ríe> Eso es que puedo decir en portugués. Alright, let's do like a little like Maybe buenos dias Buenos have a weird like we have a weird thing going on I don't know what's going on this is like almost not even using the chords but like it's fine Vibey, thank you. Do I, lo I love tea and coffee? I drink way too much coffee. I drink way too much. Way too much coffee. But that's cool. Alright, so I'm just gonna split these up. That first little part, um, it's cool, but it doesn't quite fit the rest of this. I want to kind of stay with like the... Uh, we'll, we'll see. So let's get this in here. Oh, let me mute this. Okay, so this is also a little melody that is really nice that I want to stick with the A measure. Um, melody, it just kind of helps to organize it that way for me. Uh, let's see. Let's just... Yeah, I'm just getting a bunch of U-Synths because I like u -synth. So this is really nice. We could for sure probably stack some of these. So that's a nice little basis. So this is also super nice. Oh my gosh. So we'll just, we'll just put that in here just to get that little idea down. 1984 Karate Kid vibes. <laughs> That's fine. You know, I'm the next karate kid. I think this is very beautiful. This is very beautiful. Um, as for the sound, I think this would be a nice one to start with for like the basis. 
Um, whereas the other ones are a little bit more like open ended, I guess. If that makes sense. So let's go with this one. Let's find a different sound. Let's find a different sound and like, let's just dive in. Like, it's not the... YouTubers give wrong guidance that you have to stay in key when making music. There are no rules in music, in your opinion, and all notes and scales and use can be sweetly. Thank you. I really, I totally agree with that. So like this, I took the chords from traditional Chinese music, but I didn't really stick exactly to it. But I, I did take a lot of inspo from it. But you're right, music is totally, like, no boundaries. You don't need to be qualified to make real music. I think anyone who has a vision, if they hear a vision and they bring it to life, and that, like, you're an artist. Citrus has a nice pan flute preset. I'll go check that out soon. Like, why is every- Oh, Shanghai! Music subjective down to how it was made, decisions and all. Yes, the greatest FL producer of all time. What's up, Rashid? Okay. I don't care. I don't care. I'm using it because it's called Shanghai. We'll tweak it. I like... I've been really liking like dystopian sounds. This is interesting. Um, we'll for sure need to mess around with this. Um, yeah, maybe a different. Angelin Sunsa. Hola, hola. ¿Qué onda? Maybe a different, um, you know, what you call it. Beautiful, but oh, I kind of like this dreamy Asian cyberpunky. Yes, I'm liking this. Um, all right, so for this, we're gonna need to shorten these. This is just too long. This is fine. Um, I really like this. Now, what about, I'm thinking like, this is cool, but I was liking some of the other presets. So let's keep it. We're gonna clone it. I really like this, um, but I do wanna try out some of the other like sounds um, in terms of this like preset. Like I did like, like we should um kind of mess around like the renaissance one i kind of liked it but maybe let's see like the other one's kind of like a body like maybe we can get a little stack of these two and layer these sounds Enchanted world.
I like this. Um, I'm gonna turn that volume down. It's kind of screaming at me. Um. Maybe a different. Get more into patcher post processing. What's patcher post processing? Isn't that like the builder thing? This is very cute. I'll have to really look into that. Yeah, I'm gonna need to watch some videos about that, but that would be interesting. How can I make music without stopping? How can I make a lot of music? Do I take breaks? In any case, it's great that you manage music and I think it's a great passion of yours. Um, I just, I just love music. I just, I always, I feel like I always have ideas coming in out of my mind. I always get ideas that come in and then I lose it. Um, it's just like discipline really. Cause yeah, you have to have discipline with anything you wanna do. So you can always find a reason like why not to do something. For the longest time I would make beats and just be like, all right, it's a nice little looper. Interesting loop. Very cool idea. And then just leave it at that without taking it anywhere else. So really this whole journey for me is like about becoming more disciplined, getting out my ideas, finishing ideas. Um, I've been taking a lot of streams, uh, using the chance. Um, thank you, Tracer, for the follow. I've been trying to use my streams as a good way to go back to stuff I've already made to kind of like mix and like arrange and really try and get them in a more finished state. And I've just started in the past couple of weeks getting back into songwriting again. Um, but yeah, it's really about discipline and if it's something I take seriously, treat it like basically treating it like a job like these are things I need to get done like anyone who's a professional at something they have to do it they have to be consistent they have to be working learning improving not like just consistently otherwise like you just you just lose it and you just you how can you improve and be consistent if you're not constantly like going in going in so like when I go in and I make a beat, it's usually like I have the overall intention of using all my beats on for Gotico Tropico and getting like some kind of vocals on it. But in my mind, like I don't stress out if I end up not using something for a while or I end up just not using something in general. Cause for in reality, this is like just a really good way for me to apply the stuff I know um practice some of the arrangement getting down ideas uh trying out different things like doing the, the this this concept and the bossa nova concept i thought were really are uh, really good ideas to help kind of get me out of some of the tendencies i had i, I realized i had some kind of some tendencies of using the certain notes and chords and kind of like you know just exercising it's a muscle it's a muscle. Music making is like a muscle, like working out. Like if you work out really hard for one year, but then you stop working out for a month, you're going to notice that you 
that you fell off, that you're just not on on point like you were. Uh, Rick Rubin's new book, I've never heard about it. I've never heard about the creative act, a way of being. Yeah, like this artist stuff, like this is a lifestyle. This isn't like just some hobby. It's a lifestyle, a, a mindset of looking for constant like evolvement and improvement and the art of getting ideas in here out into the real world. Um, and the also like trying to get them the way I hear it inside my mind, trying to get it as close as to the way I hear it in here, in here, in the DAW, into the DAW and out like into the world. So it's really, really fun. And I've, I found like a brand new, like childlike fascination as I learn more and more. So, so yeah, I don't know. It's just like, it's just a lifestyle being open-minded, being open to improvement, open to criticism, open to everything that comes with being an artist being in music and being out there in general as a YouTuber. <laughs> a fine line. Always need to be productive. Discipline is important. Yeah. Yeah. Burnout is possible, but you know, burnout, I try not to focus too much on f burnout. Um, I know it's common. I know it's possible to feel burnt out, but I just, I just ignore it and power through because I feel like, yeah, burnout is a thing. You can kind of feel like that, but it's, it's like you either just kind of go through it and just like, so what? I feel burnt out, whatever. I'm just going to keep going or you can be like, oh, I'm so burnt out. Like you can like, there's different ways to approach your burnout. Um, for me, I've just been like, you know what, who cares? There's always something I can do. If I don't feel like making something new, I'm not going to force myself to make something new. I have so many beats compiled up that I already enjoy listening to. I already enjoy these beats. Then I can improve them. And there's like yesterday I was working on, not yesterday, the other day I was working on a beat and I had things lined in so wrong like, there's always ways to improve stuff. Like, I go, do I make beats every day? No, I don't make beats every day. I have such a big collection of beats that I've created that I can go back and work on. Um, yeah, I work on music every day, but I don't make new beats every day. So, because one beat can easily take a couple sessions of, uh, like, my time. Like, one beat can easily take, like, 10 hours from laying out the ideas, thinking of different parts and melodies, arranging all the different things, re-listening to see, oh, does this flow right? Does this flow correctly? What can I do here to make the transition more epic? Or what can I do to build it up more? What automation? There's so many different ways you can, and things you can do to improve and add to the music. Like, I have so many hours spent on certain beats um you know you can take as long as you want on your beat you, it, if you are fine with taking two hours and just looping it and like just calling it a day that's cool like that's your approach for me i like to be a bit more detail oriented and getting into the nitty-gritty fine details what's up t-mix what's gonna crash out guess you're gonna stay well yeah you are gonna stay you're gonna make sure i get my <laughs> you get my my viewer retention retention doing well on on twitch i couldn't do it without without you though <laughs> full-time job just hard to get paid for it yeah that's why i'm looking at i'm looking at it as the pay whatever pay i get from it is like pure extra this is like i'm doing this because i want to this is a passion i want to share it all right let's continue <laughs> i like this kind of spooky angle um, that we have here, it's not gonna be like, I don't think it's gonna be by any means like a main aspect, but I like it. Um, I think I wanted to keep tweaking it. I'm not sure if I like this. 
YouTube on your TV, commenting on Twitch. Nice. Little multi... Multi support. <laughs> Alright, let me think. I like... I kind of like this one. I think the second one. Like usual thing, Ninja Kid four one five. Thank you for the sub. How are you? Welcome. How about that? Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Why were you up all night? Uh, reverse. I like it more dark. You just smash the like button. Also subscribe. Thank you. The vibes for the stream feel really good. Excited. Can't wait for the view the rest of my vids. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. If you're enjoying, don't forget to like. It really helps me out. I really, truly appreciate it. Games and life. What games? Hey, life, life be always occurring. So you can't really escape that. This one, I love it. It's like so cute. I feel like I'm in like an ice cave. I kind of hear a little bit of that China swag. I feel I hear it a little bit. I hear a little bit of the China swagger. This might be nice. Actually, you know what? I think the singular... This might be better for the... For the uh, little flute. So someone said citrus, I think, has a nice pan flute. Pan flutes. All right, I'm gonna turn it down. It's kind of like screaming in my face. Mortal Kombat. Oh my goodness. Whew. That's a doozy. That's a doozy. Um, I need to find the pan flute. call you out to tell me where it is I think it was Shido yeah Shido finds the pan flute for me I need to find it <laughs> you played Tetris and music rhythm game for oh my goodness you're all gamed out if I played games for that long I would be like I would be like questioning everything about my life <laughs> that's that's just me. I'm not used to playing so many games. I haven't- I've been wanting to play League for like the past like three, four days and I just haven't. Which is fine. Like I'm fine. Pan flute. Never mind. I'm fine. I found it. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That with some like delay and reverb is gonna sound super beautiful. Mm 
maybe something like this turning into I have some ideas. I have some ideas. Um, also, we'll definitely need to go in and like clean those up in terms of like EQ. Once we do some EQing and stuff, it'll be um, easier to deal with this. You using your brain trying to think on the fly. Hey, yeah, if it's mentally stimulating, that's good, you know, like. Some mental stimulation. What is going on with my lens? All right, let's see. All right. Let's. All right, so this one, let's get a different sound. Maybe some... Something like, I want to kind of find a pad. I want it to be pretty clean. Why, uh, why, we are, we are, we are Chaka, why a Chaka? Hello, hello. Is my hair getting long? Yeah, my hair is getting long. Um, yeah, I feel like my hair grew, like, really fast these past couple of days. I kind of like how this sounds, but let's, um... Maybe if I brought... Yo, that was the wrong one. I need to be careful. I think we brought them down. I think I like this more. Like this. It's a little bit messy. I want to clean it up. I think the grain clouds is what is making it very, uh, like thick. Kind of like, kind of like, uh, messy. Yeah, I need something a little bit cleaner. I would like a chorus on here. Oh, this like really makes it like. I'm gonna make this faster. Oh, that phaser? I, it sounded pretty cool. I think this moonstorm sounds nice, but not so harsh. I make this more bright. I want something a bit more like shiny. Let me bring the delay down a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna just turn the delay off. It's kind of like... Does this synth come with FL? It is not with FL. It is UJMU synth. They do have a free pack called Drive. And I really, I truly suggest like everyone grab the UJMU synth Drive because it is so awesome. It is so fun to mess with these parameters. They use like non-technical terminology, like just character. Wow. 
Like, I just, I love it. Bring the modulation up. I liked it up. I'm not quite sure what this is doing. I want to have fun with different knobs and buttons, not nerd <laughs> It's a little bit, I guess, I, yeah, it's a little bit funner. I'm liking this little, this aura here is a little bit brighter. What is this whirl? don't need that world. Just a little bit up. Alright, let's bring it back down. Arcade by output? No, I don't think so. I don't believe so. I'm pretty sure I don't. Um, I've never heard of it. I think I've... I think I might have heard someone suggest it, but I've, I never got it. Alright, I like this. Alright, so let's, um... Organize a little bit, because we do have some things. So I think it'll sound better like this. Maybe actually the little stop before that. There. Chords. Icy guy. Yeah, these are like... Funny guy. These are like... Yeah, we're like, this is a bit cluttered. Channeling Andre 3000 with the flu. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I love Outcast. They got a pretty funky, crazy vibe. All right. Yeah, this is kind of like a weird spot to be in because I don't have like any ideas for the drums. Oh, I guess what I'll do right now is just, let's just um get these out. I'll deal with drums soon. I kind of want to see if I can get some like, what do they call, what would you call it? Like a composition. Why are you dying for a chime or a gong? Oh yeah, we should get something like that. So let's, let's get these out. Let's just um split these up. Because we don't want all of these playing at the same time. I don't want to have to mute everything just to survive listening to this. I would, maybe once I get a little bit of a layout in, 
going um we can really like twerk with it whatever that means i really like this let me um let's just render this i want it because i can't fade it i can't fade it um Let's render these really quick. I can't like fade. I have like this idea of like fading them. So let me get these lined in properly as well. This is icy guy. Icy guy is going into seven. And funny guy is going into eight. And we want to. Let's get these volumes in correctly. I was thinking, what if it like switched? I'll just try it out. Like. Something like this. While then it just becomes this if that makes sense i you know i'm just guessing i really like i really like this sound i think i need to raise the volume like I think it might be cool to kind of like have it turn into, I don't know, I'm just an idea. What's up Wally's 1224 AM, where are you? Lo-fi and tight, yeah that would probably, probably work. Something like... I just still get a little bit of an idea. Let me just get a little rough idea for the drums. You're from the Philippines. Yes, Pinoy Pride. Pinoy Pride. I'm also a Filipino myself. I'm a mixture of things. I'm Asian, but like I'm part Filipina. So, yes, Pinoy Pride. Um, sounds like 2011, 2013, nostalgic. Nice. I like kind of having like an older sound. Um, I like it. <laughs> so that for me, I I take that as a compliment. Okay, so that was like what the idea you had, right? Like, like it might not only okay, and then mm. what I'm saying is idea. Okay. Well. Yeah. I can get... Alright, let's, um... I have a lot of toms.
Get some Tom's ASAP Rocky vibes. Ooh. I haven't really listened to ASAP Rocky, but cool. All right, let's get a little Tommy. Okay. <laughs> Is that like... Okay. Okay. Let's just getting just getting a little bit of an idea. Freak says he wants to go in on this with some drums. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Vocals hidden on it. Hey, maybe you're just here. You're hearing something. You're hearing something. You're, you got a vision, a little vision. Little vision. You know, sometimes you can't help but hear like melodies and ideas. When you're... That's pretty sick. You know, there's a little like, just like, let's just put that in there. Just a little simple, like, guide basis. That's fine with me. It's like something like a little bit of like a structure as I add more parts in here. So I kind of want it to like this icy synth to kind of fade away. And now, and then we can get some chords. I don't know if these chords are going to fit here. So maybe what I'll do, let's get these chords, let's do some, uh, a different variation where these chords are just, there's no playing around, it's just held. Um, so it just sounds a little bit neater, because when we have a bunch of things like going do, 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 that's the problem I have right now is everything's trying to go like do, 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 everything's trying to have like a, a shine. Um, yeah, if you're enjoying watching this, make sure, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, thank you, thank you, Mr minimum for these sub yeah don't forget to like sub comment chat come on always open to your ideas and uh yeah and stuff like that so let's get some chords on here just some sustained chords we're making it a little bit messy by having all these like blah, 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 blah. <gasps> All right, that's pretty nice. What's up, Hugh Have? Hugh Have. I'm sorry if I said that incorrectly. Thank you. Listening to nothing, listen to nothing at all. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying our music so far. Uh, we definitely get some more stuff out soon. I swear we're getting some more stuff out super soon. It's just like <sighs> we have so many things that are just this close to being ready. This close to being ready. It's just a matter of getting it done. I gotta go get that done. Um, but thank you so much. Welcome. Glad you were able to make it to the live. 
I do go live every single day, daily live streams, working on music. Um, if you like watching behind the scenes and the process of music making, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. This is every single day, um, as much as possible. Uh, passion, love sharing this passion with you all. just nice simple simple and just nice mm-hmm All right, let's get these. Let's get some kick. Some kick in it. Little kick. You have any genres we will make? Thank you. You're into all, but your mood seems picky. <laughs> it's very peculiar. I think we have a very, we're all over the place genre wise. We have a very peculiar way, I feel, of like approaching the music making process, but. We're very inspired by a lot of different genres but from lots of different times. <laughs> but yeah, what's happening? What's up, Doc Mia? Doc Mia? Welcome back. Making music like usual. <laughs> yeah, I'm just working on this. I took some traditional Chinese chords. I laid them out and then I kind of took some inspiration from that. And this is the beat I'm creating from those chords. How are you? What's up, stubborn? I can fix you. What do you mean? simple Just keep it simple freak told me he wants to kind of go in on this um he has some ideas Alright, so that could be like a nice little pre-chorus thing. Alright, so let's get out. These solos, fine. We will want- we have no bass, so we will- oh my gosh, I hate when I do that. I'm getting very, very annoyed. I hate when it's acting like I want to select a loop and I don't. Like, I never wanted this loop. Oh my gosh, can this just stop? Thank you very much. You like the synthly? Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, I've been like making some pretty chill beats lately. 
been liking that chill swagger. What can I say? What can I say? It's like that chill swag. I like that chill swag. Um, okay. This is getting very frustrating. This is getting very frustrating to me. Just. Just get this out of the way. All right. Chords. Get these chords. Now that I have this faded in, the funny guy can just be laid out as the midi for now because I'm getting a little bit frustrated dealing with the waves. All right. And then a little change up here. A little change up here. Um... All right, I like this icy guy. It's really cool. We definitely have a lot of stuff to do. Let's think of a little... And then I want to think of a little... Something for the pan flute here. For that second part of the verse. Ever thought of using Cymatics Diablo? Um, I've never used that. Getting Young Lean vibes. Okay, that's cool. I, I like Young Lean and a, the, a lot of the production he uses is really, really cool. So that's that's cool with me. Yeah, maybe is my maybe I'm in like my vaporwave arc <laughs> or something. I don't know. Um Cymatics Diablo, I assume that is um like a drum compressor? What kind of like a drum bus processing thing? But what what does it do? Is it a compressor? Might be like the siren sound of it, maybe. All right, let's mess around with this flute. Really nice out there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we're just keep it simple, you know, like that's been my like model for a minute. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it, keep it simple. Like maybe it would work better if I put it higher up like that. All right, um, let's just, you know, let's brainstorm. I need to get a bass on here. It's gonna be very difficult to really get a good idea. Um, with 
like where this is going to go without a without a base you know you feel me the base is so important that uh yeah i feel like i can't really continue without getting like a nice little bass melody on here um compression side chain yeah i always do that i always do that kid cody just dropped his track list for a new album you got x on there x like what you mean <laughs> um nice though all right we need a bass bass you got to get the bass in there Gotta get your bass in, your face in, your face, yeah. Gotta get that bass, get that bass, 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 bass. All over the place, please, 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 please. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna use this one, but this will be the first time I'm using um, Virtual Bassist Rowdy. Uh, finally. Oh, XXX, really? Oh my gosh, he must have been like XXX Tentacion, like he has a track with them. Yeah, I so I wonder if that was like they made that track. Oh, okay. All right, so they're like taking like a recording of X from before. And putting in there. I mean, obviously they can't get the recording now, but like, R.I.P. Um, all right, let's get this bass. Let's get this bass down. Bass. Oh, he's a sample doing a cover of one of his old songs called "Edge of the World." Oh my goodness! So that's one of. Kid Cudi's old songs? Just so, like, you know, I can, like, understand a bit more, like... Oh my gosh, that's so loud. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty like cool for now. Um, let's get this in here, like... See, this is, like, very beautiful. A super rough idea. Let's get some, um... Okay, yeah, it was like trying to play the instrument. It was kind of like... Kind of like annoying, but it's fine. S smoke the sesh was lit. It was so lit. This 
are kind of cool. Garage blues. What's up, Iruka, Iru guitar? Yeah, I'm kind of like feeling this. It's like, sounds like a real bass, you know? Like, I'm kind of like really freaking with it. Yeah, it's so like this, this, um, this is really cool VST. I think I like the fat one the most. Traditional Chinese chords, like chords that are used in traditional Chinese music. <laughs> Very fuzzy. Like, you know how music theory, like we got chords. So I took I took note of chords that is are used in traditional Chinese music and then I kind of built something around the idea of it. So I changed some of it up. I'm not making a traditional Chinese song, but I took the chords, inspiration from the chords to make what I have. So metal amp, cream amp, crisp. I like the cream one. Yeah, I'm gonna lean towards like the uh, like vintage EQ sound. You do that with Japanese music 24/7. Awesome, yeah, that's super cool. I, I love like um, I have a one I did recently for a bossa nova. I took Bossa Nova chords, but I actually stayed a little bit more true to like the Bossa Nova swag on that track. I have lyrics written to it. I'm almost ready to record that one. I'm super excited about it. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've been looking at, um, you know, taking different inspiration from different types of music um, to help get me to dive into like music theory and stuff. Cause I'm not the most familiar with like this is this chord, this is that chord. I don't know like music theory like that. So I've come in kind of using it as like a way to really get into like music theory. What about a bit crush? Hmm. A little finisher, a little touch, you know? I like it with the drive all the way up. Okay. Music theory is great, especially, yes, I love like studying other cultures in lots of different ways. Like I love studying different cultures, not only in terms of like the music, but also like food. If you didn't know, I love to cook and I love trying out different plates, uh, different recipes from different parts of the world. It's like super fun to explore different cultures and history and all that. I love that. Um, Cool plugin. Yeah, I love this. This is a uh, virtual bassist, uh, Rowdy from UJAM. I've been really enjoying the UJAM VSTs lately. Yeah, I like this. I think this gives like a nice little, little grit. This is like very beautiful. You know, you got a little, little grit in the beauty. Chinese instruments are mainly one note played. Dizzy Piper. Yeah. Yeah very true I have noticed that like that little flute like it's not gonna come through with chords on the flute you like physically can't play a chord on a flute 
and then, like also like with the mandolin there you're always like plucking one note and all that most of the harmonies based on pentatonic skills they mix and match them to create new one very interesting oh pentatonic i don't know i'm not quite the most familiar with pentatonic but interesting i will take note of that phrase pentatonic intriguing and get a notepad open sometimes people like are taking notes they're like i'm taking notes from you i'll take notes from you yeah i need to bend my notes right way to do it i can't just throw it in five notes oh i see this is pretty cool though like there's a lot um that needs to be done so let's get into let's get into like Let's get into like uh, really doing something here because I'm getting a little bit frustrated. It doesn't sound the best. So let's do some. Let's do some like EQing and all that because until we get that done, I'm going to be a little bit frustrated. <laughs> Drum bus make you green. Whoa, whoa, I should never do that. Kick. Going in there, we got the tom. Yeah, I I need to organize. It is much, very much time. Superb herb. How are you today, by the way? All right, and let's get a synth bus. Yeah, we need these things to sound better. Um, let's just be real. Everything to sound better, so then I can like. Feel, oh my gosh, why did I unlink it? Okay. I just, uh, yeah, I need it to sound better. It's kind of like sounding a bit rough for me right now. So, I've been using Claro on all my stuff. So, let's get Claro on everything. We want to get our kick to slap correctly. We need to get mono, completely mono. Let's bring it up. All right, that's good, that's good. And then we're gonna a little bit of side chaining. Let's get Claro EQ. I've been loving this Claro EQ, just, just loving it. So yeah, I think once we get this sounding a bit better and like a little bit like less dry, um, It'll be uh, nicer to continue, if you know what I mean. Let's see where, um, so the bass is a bit like higher pitched than where the, so kind of around a hundred, it'll do a little bit of a dip here. 
perfect kind of for that. Just like really slight, you know? Um, okay. This base needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Let me also get some of this higher end. And that sounds pretty good. This alternative pop rock band type beat. I, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting, a, yeah, I'm getting a little bit like rock. I feel like, um, it makes sense. I used to listen to like more rock and I actually, Freak was just playing Green Day the other day. We were listening to uh, Green Day and Sublime so you know what maybe i'm getting a little bit of that like energy kind of like oh like the inspiration from it like subconsciously you know all right let's work on this bass a little bit God, this should be good. Let's make this a little bit less steep. Just like that. Green Day actually has an album dropping next week. What? Really? I had no idea. That's so interesting. Did you know that? Did you know that Green Day is supposedly dropping? Yeah, even Freak didn't know that. It's kind of interesting that that's gonna happen and like freak was just listening to them like yesterday the day before yeah it's interesting how that works he must have like felt the energy like the green day energies rising in the atmosphere on the 19th oh my goodness that's crazy thanks for letting me know all right let's like These drums, by the way, are super rough. Freak told me he has some ideas for these drums, so I don't want to go too crazy. If he already has an idea, I don't want to, like, cloud it. But he did tell me he wanted some Tommies. Some Tommies. And I'm feeling it. I can see the vision. I see the vision. You're looking at reviews and ranking for their last projects. Oh my goodness. Just a little bit of boost and like that, you know. Kind of higher end of the tom. Get a little shine on. <laughs> Yo, this is uh, the stock snare. I think we're going to have to go ahead and... Yeah, uh, we'll just change that really quick. They'll change out the kick and the snare, actually. Because we have both the stuck kick and snare. Ooh. I kinda I just like I like it, but uh it's um Nice saviors. 
Oh my goodness. We'll have to go check it out, see if we're like freaking with it. I like this. I like this swagger. Okay. Um. Hey, we don't need that. We don't need this. Do a little tweak. a little bit of like higher okay i do believe i want the other chords i want them to be a bit more like in the background that's my tendency is to have the chords kind of like in the background Thank you, Vibes, for the follow. How long have I been producing? You only started two years ago. Um, I've been taking produ uh, production seriously for the last six months. But before that, I had kind of been like dibbly dabbling in and out. I don't know how long, but I, I've really only been taking it seriously for the past six months. I was just kind of doing it here and there and kind of like, oh, a little idea. I want to get down a little idea. And oh, this is really a really cool loop I made up. But then nothing would happen to it because I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn it into anything. I just kind of like have it sit there. I was sick of it. So this is kind of why I've been doing these live streams and stuff. Have I side chained it? Not yet. Good, good, good call. Good call. I usually do that when I'm working on the EQ. I'm the best one spraying. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for uh, reminding me, Aditya. That's pretty good. Like it is not a lot of conflict between the two. So that helps cleaning up a little bit. We'll do that as well on here. On the chords. Um actually let's just do it on the synths in general. We'll do it on the synths in general. Just do it on the synth bus. Just so then anything interfering can just get out of the way. Let's see. Ninja Kid, where am I streaming from? I'm in Mexico at the moment. From Miami. Nice. There we go. Sometimes I get like lost, so I can't find my stuff. But... Saturator? Ooh, okay. What? Okay. 
Why are there so many side chain? Okay. It's fine. There you go. Do I have a random challenge? Shouts out from EU with some scully. Um drop down and give me 20 push-ups right now. That's my challenge. No, I actually don't have a random challenge at the moment. I need to hear you. All right, let's make that a little bit more. It's a soft-ish knee. Let's bring this down. Just a little bit, you know. 10 if you're lucky. <laughs> oh my gosh. How many push-ups can you do? How many push-ups can you do? If you were to do push-ups right now, how many could you do? Tell me. Expose yourself right now. Expose yourself. Not enough. How many? <laughs> well, you're tired. You're probably so tired now, Team Mix. But, uh... You should still be able to get some. You should still be able to get a solid 20, no problem. You were sick whole Christmas, still weak. Ah, uh, it's sometimes gonna be tough getting back, bouncing back from being sick. When me and Freak got sick, um, like last year, and it really, like, it was pretty, pretty bad. Uh, it got pretty bad. I'll just I'll just say that it got bad um, and it took so long to get back into our regular workout routine it was crazy you haven't done one in years come on you have to get on your push-up grinds you get back on your push-ups um I wonder how many I could do right now um I can do 20, no problem. Let's check on that flute. Oh, hold on, I'm still working on this one, right? Yeah, I'm still working on this one. Hold on. I could do, I've done 100 push-ups before um, without getting out of my plank position. I've like stopped, but I've, Oh my gosh, what sucks? Oh my gosh. This is when I was doing regular streaming. Um, well, whatever. This is like a prior streaming area, er, era. And uh, I, did a, I did it live. I did 100 push-ups without getting uh, off of the plank for... It wasn't completely straight, but like I did it without getting down from the plank. And like... I don't have my proof. I'm so frustrated just thinking about it. But yeah, I've done 100 push-ups without going down from playing position before. Um, but not straight back to back. Like I would get to like 50 and like kind of like stop to breathe for a second. <laughs> and then uh, try and pop out like 10, 15 more kind of just. <laughs> it's not easy. Um, you know, I think a good goal would be to be able to do 100 with no stopping one day. Organic sounds. Yeah, some organic sounds would be good. Uh, someone was mentioning a gong earlier. Maybe some like waterfall. Kind of like make add like a little zen aspect. Um, is zen, I, is zen Chinese or Japanese? That might be Japanese. But like, I don't mind. I don't mind if I'm like mixing it up. I just would like to know if um maybe a little feng shui 
in there. Is that Chinese? Is feng shui Chinese? Is Zen Japanese? Can I run for a full sprint? Well, how long? I went sprinting the other day and I actually ended up hurting my knee. Um, I guess I went a little too hard. I'm uh, recovering from a little bit of like, I think what I believe is a MCL leg strain, but my knee's been feeling better. I've been trying out some knees over toes um, stuff and I, I've been enjoying it. Have you heard of knees over toes guy? Um, he has some really interesting stretches and stuff. I've been trying them out and I've been enjoying it and my knee's been feeling better, but I have not gone on any run runs lately feng shui is chinese okay feng shui this flute it definitely needs some verb and delay but it's fine we'll get to it eventually what i want to do is work on claro eq yeah go to go tropical is open to collab um i have a collab uh commands that helps make it easier. I get a lot of questions about collabs. Collabs are would be done with the group Gotigo Tropico, which is me and Freak. So you can go, uh, let me try it out. Do I know Hit Girl? Um, no, who's Hit Girl? I feel like I've heard that name before. Why is it not showing up on YouTube? Um, it should be showing up on YouTube. It's too long. Alright. Okay. Alright, it came. Oh, now it works. Oh, okay, it like went in two parts. Hit Girl is a hip hop producer. I think she made stuff for Uzi. Oh, okay, interesting. That's interesting. I never heard of her. Um, I've been getting like, <laughs> I've been getting like recommendations for like other female producers recently. And it's interesting to see the other female producers and how they approach music. I need to get on like my video grind though. I need to get some like videos out um, really soon, which means I need to finish some of these songs so that when I put the video out, the song is ready. <laughs> so it's all on me, it's all on me. This beat different. Thank you. I assume that's a, that's a uh, compliment. <laughs> That's actually a really nice tone that's like being like emphasized there. That's actually really nice. I want to get some of the higher, like the airiness. Like, I want a lot of it, actually. Like... That should be good. Got you in the... in the mood. Nice. <laughs> with some... okay, with some, like, reverb and stuff, it'll be super nice. This funny guy over here... Got a little bit of a funny guy. Super secluded is for the best. Taking from my own energy and improv, not accidentally mimicking because listening to others. That's how I see it. Like, I think the fact that I'm very like on. You can't like pin down what's going on. 
And I feel like that's a very like powerful thing, like a very like, I, I'm obviously, like, I, I'm very inspired by a lot of different things. I will not lie about that, but I do take pride in being like unique, very unique. And I also feel like when me and Freak like get in the studio together is when some of the best stuff comes out. It's like, it gets crazy when Freak gets involved. These are the final sounds or do, um, I know some of these will definitely be staying. Freak has the final say in terms of like the mix and what the sounds are. I'm just, I'm not, I'm, he tweaks the sounds. Yeah, any tweaks to sounds really would be very minor. We're not gonna really switch out any instruments unless it's like a problem. <laughs> so, but usually Free will tweak it because uh, he's like the mixer master um, part of the group. Like, that's like his like thing. My thing is you is like MIDI um, arrangements. Um, and stuff like and melodies and automations stuff like that so like when we get together it's like the ultimate like whoa and it's easier for us to get like a more full thing done uh, right then and there let's check on any There are some resonances, but we haven't done any compressing or anything. So... Let's get a little bit of a compression going on. Engineers are important, yeah. What's up, Afri? Afrik? A freak? Is that how you say a freak? And then t Tokyo A's. I never addressed your <gasps> name. Oh my goodness. Collaborating for what? Collab freak is part of the group Gotigo Tropico, which is me and Freak, Gotigo Tropico, that is my music project. Any music that I make on stream is intended to be used for Gotigo Tropico. So uh, we're gonna be putting vocals on this eventually. You need, we don't send beats out to rappers. Um, but yeah, not that we wouldn't, it's just like right now where we, we would any if anything would do like a collab we're open to collabs but we're not beat makers trying to get placements or sending beats to like other artists and stuff tokyo s ah oh, i see i'm like feeling this it's pretty cool it's still super raw but like, uh, yeah i'm liking this let's do Let's just listen to these synths. Trying to establish your own sound completely before going out of the way to give yourself to other. Uh, yeah, like we only have two tracks out. We have so many things in the process. Yeah, uh, to work with others, we would also like want other people to like, we would want that person to hear about us, like our music like genuinely like like our music and kind of want to dive into like the energy that we bring and i feel like we really bring something unique that isn't really being done so it would be like uh you know it's a, a good example we would 
rather be like Pharrell or the Neptunes than than like a SoundCloud producer who just emails beats for placements is kind of like the way I see it. We have a very peculiar um, brand, peculiar way we approach music. And like we really have to connect with uh, someone like on a like it's not for hype, it's not clout or money. It's about the art. So like the the vibe, the energy has to be like right um, in order for us to like do that collab. So just I would tell anyone who wants to collab, you need to go listen to our stuff first and like get a feel and like we do need to get more stuff out as well so then people can get more of an idea of like what kind of energy we're on because we have a wide array of sounds that we do visuals um visualizer reports are more like actual we have discussed visuals a lot and freak has lots of ideas freak is an idea machine he we're gonna definitely do some music videos we have an idea that we were just talking about recently um yeah like we have ideas um but yeah we definitely do want to do like visualizers as well but but we want to get a couple more tracks out before doing like a music video but we, yeah we discuss a lot of stuff <laughs> in regards to the music uh we want to get a clothing brand like merch brand out soon uh we want to like incorporate like esoteric kind of like imagery and like symbolism we want to use like certain stones and like uh like jewelries and merch and stuff to like convey certain energies and messaging like we have we have a lot of ideas a lot of ideas genuine vibes basically yeah genuine vibes Like a quicker release. Let me look at. I've been enjoying looking at the oscilloscope, so I'm wondering how this looks. It helps a lot to like see what's going on. Obviously, this is like the the bus waves. Like it's not gonna be like super punchy like drums. Um, yeah, we're still working on, we don't have like a first project. We're just like really focusing on just getting out singles. We have like three tracks that are like really like this close to being done. Um, that needs just some final touches and stuff like that. Honestly, most people just tend to be beat makers as purely when it comes to modern hip hop, they don't really prioritize making full art pieces. Even getting a rapper on your beat is more appealing. Yeah, for real. Like this, like what I'm doing, I'm not trying to, yeah, like I'm explaining. Uh, this is like a full like front to back art project. Let's go through go. Like full front to back art. We want to do like animated videos, music videos, full albums. We have m multiple genres. We've had this idea of doing series, kind of like an anime series, having different series for our different like styles and like genres. But yeah, most people want placements because it gives clout. Like I, I do understand uh, it gives clout and credibility they want to be able they want to be able to put that collab that, like they they got a placement with this artist and put flex that in their bio and stuff and then they can sell services to smaller artists or other artists um because of that clout so like it's a you know there's different grinds you know animation is weird because it costs more well, yeah it all will cost Money. I mean, we've also talked about doing like st 
completely in-house stuff, but Freak has family that that is professionally involved, like in the music industry. Oh, and, vi and video games too. So Freak has family that is involved in like art and video games and animation. So in anime, mobile gaming, things like that. So there's like plenty of avenues we can uh, go down. We would definitely need need to pay the artist, of course. It's not just going to be like free, but it's lunchtime. You've been up since 6 p.m. <laughs> oh my gosh. An example of what kind of art uh, we're looking for. Um, like in terms of like drawing? Or art animation? Um, what do you mean by art? Like uh, in terms of like the visual aspect? Is that what you're asking about? Yeah. Illustrations. Oh, okay, yeah. Um We like a lot of edgy stuff. We're very edgy. We like um occult and anime. But um I don't know, we're a certain, it's a certain type of I don't know, we're very peculiar. <laughs> we're very peculiar. It's I couldn't um tell you exactly in words. We definitely like religious imagery. We like occult imagery and stuff like that. You heard tarot cards came in very spiritual stuff. Yeah, the whole concept with our project has a lot to do with spirituality. So it leans a very heavily towards that. Um, Ezekiel, yeah, if you want to show some of your work, for sure, you can. Um, are you part of the Discord? You can drop it in Discord or you can join the Discord and you can find me through there and send me. Um, tarot cards came in last minute, so you may have not heard everything I mentioned earlier. Um, let me grab the Discord. There's a Discord command. Uh, yeah, join the join the Discord. Work with the concept more than the actual. Yeah, we're very conceptually driven. <laughs> the art can go so many ways, like, and we're very open-minded. Collaborating is tough. Sometimes no one, nobody just wants to have fun and create any anymore. Just business. Yeah, true, true. Like we heavily value like the actual art. You yeah, have multiple people have like said they wanted to pay me to like do vocals for something but I'm just like I'm in it really for the art um and I'd rather work on a project that like feels that that I feel like really aligns with what we're trying to do and who I am um and it's gotta be like real. It's gotta be real. Like you feel me. You feel me. Yeah, this is a little bit loud. Yeah, 
Yeah, Tom's was a really good idea. It was a freak's idea. Yeah, it's like such a good bounce. Um, vocal feature would be Gotico Tropico. All of my stuff is gonna be released through Gotico Tropico. Gotico Tropico is my music project. Me and Freak, um, we have plenty of songs that are like more one than the other, but generally like we work together on our stuff. So it's us and what we come through, what we come through with. Like a little team. Literally like Diane Word, honestly. Diane Word or like Crystal Castles is like a very, like, uh, yeah, uh, except in this way, like, we're involved like front to back and I, I'm here to kind of like to show that I'm here producing for the group. Uh, it is a unique aspect, unique angle. I don't see many groups that are like, oh yeah, this the female does production. Like, I'm not gonna necessarily be vocally there on every track. But I do have a, a lot of beats and stuff that I've been working on and producing that Freak may go in on. Or if I do come through vocally, I may come through for one part and not necessarily have like a verse. You know? I, I, but we gotta get more stuff out so you can like understand, you know? Because right now we have two tracks out um, and it doesn't give the full picture of what we're doing yet. So... Crystal Castles without the incident, yeah. <laughs> yeah, without the incident. My goodness. I'm just like vibing, honestly. Let's get the short verb. Hey, yeah, all of our musical heroes are basically canceled. So I guess you can tell where that goes. <laughs> Will you be loyal or will you turn against us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. So I have to show off the Hispanic tropical element. Yeah, we have some tracks that have like more Spanish and stuff too. Like there's so much, there's so much. Yeah, the end of Vampires in the Sun is all in Spanish, uh, basically. So yeah, it's like, it's just super interesting, you know, like, and a lot of people are like, oh, you're Latina, right? But no, I'm not, like, I don't know, I'm just very, I'm, me and Freak are both the children of immigrants. My mother was an immigrant and his parents were, so identity-wise, like, we're all over the place. Um, and like I was kind of able to kind of grab on to like the Latin culture uh, Also being part Filipina Filipinos and the Mexicans they say they're like cousins So like I don't know there's so many there's so many different angles and layers and all that so Definitely a lot of Asian influence in our music as well. So they yeah, that we're heavily Latin and Asian inspired and we both speak Spanish and I mean even in the US Spanish is considered the second language so so yeah there's like I, I the potential is like sky high for us so it's like really exciting really to be doing this and pursuing this it's like a dream come true and it's like unfolding. Yeah, Filipino, yeah, they even say fiestas. They even say in the Philippines that they have fiestas. So, and they have places that speak Spanish in the Philippines as well. I don't know how many places, but I know um, there are places that they speak Spanish in the Philippines. So yeah, uh, there's that. Goodness always so much to talk about very talkative <laughs> yeah Spanish is a huge language worldwide 
worldwide uh, for sure. That's a little bit much. All right, let's just let's work on this verb. Make it all the way wet. It just sounds pretty nice the way it is. I don't even know if it's really on. Yeah, it's not really doing much. I need to get some kind of... I kind of like that. A little bit of... Sounds nice. Always important, more to the world than just the US. Yes, yes, definitely. There's more to the world. I love watching like travel vlogs and learning about different cultures and histories. Yeah, I'm on Twitch as well. That is the Twitch. Can make millions solely off Spanish. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's a lot of, I don't want too much. And I want to like keep it a bit balanced. Okay, I think that sounds pretty good. Let's get a little bit of that reverb onto the synths. Thank you, JD, for the follow. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I always lose the sun. Oh my gosh, going crazy. Going crazy. I'm going so crazy. Dora fused with Hatsudi Miku. Yeah, that's so cursed. <laughs> this is a good idea, but geez, that cursed is good sometimes. It has to be done correctly, but oh my gosh. Dora fused with Hatsudi Miku. Oh my gosh, I'm taking that in my notepad right now. I'm gonna have a notepad called Stream Notes. Uh, like I said, some people be saying they're taking notes from me. I'll take notes from y'all as well. That is like crazy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That sounds nice. Let's bring it down a little bit. It's starting to sound a lot more cohesive than it did earlier. Dora fused with that Sunni. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah, let's get a long verb. Yes. All right, let's also get some of that out of here. A little bit of cleanup. I heard that can really, you can easily muddy up a, a beat 
or a song when you don't cut out some of that, uh, you don't EQ uh, some of that high end and uh, low end from that reverb, easily becomes a mess. Um, I'm gonna get a long verb on this. These chords, I like putting long verbs on like sustained chords. Uh, it just makes it sound just like, wow. Epic plate. I used this last stream and I was liking it. And don't forget to like, all right? Don't forget to like and don't forget to sub or follow. I do music streams every day sharing the music with you whether i be making something new or or like uh working on something i already have made or whatever whatever i'm doing musically i will be sharing i will be sharing with the world you know what i'm thinking let's get a chorus on here First one is like more clean. This sounds a bit more like like old. Maybe I can just use both of them. <laughs> it's too much. I don't know. One or two. I think this sounds nice. I like this. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it was just like a little too much before. Let's um get the send to the long. To the long verb. Entrancing, definitely entrancing. Coming more and more fully like it. Thank you. Yeah, it's a process. Like I was saying earlier, like I was like getting sick of hearing the beat, not like, not like mixed at all. And now that it is uh, coming together, it's like, oh yeah. Now it's like gonna be more enticing to like really keep working on this. I understand why uh, the mix as you go angle is like uh, really good. I understand that now. I thought you should just completely ignore mixing. And it's just like, yeah, creation is good, but you want to make it sound good. You don't always, I mean, there's stuff that is mixed terribly and just doesn't have the technically best mix that still sounds good. It's just like for our group and like what we want to do, we want to do it like we have very high standard 
for ourselves. Um, I'm listening closely. All right, it sounds beautiful. What can I say? It's gonna delay send. A little delay. A little delay. For this guy. A little sand on this to the delay. delay oh yo yo we need to chill out on that What's good, DJ? Just, uh, you know, working on a little mix of this beat I'm working on. All the wine glasses in your house just broke. Sorry, let me cut off some of that high end. <laughs> but what's good with you? What's good with you? Should probably turn it down. <laughs> yeah, this is your fault, not mine. It's not my fault. <laughs> It's a bit uh, piercing. Let's EQ it a little bit, cause.
That should be good for now. Let's do a little... Slight send into the... Also, what we're gonna wanna do is, let's bring out, let's go put, uh, let's get a supercharger on this delay. Bring that down the... There we go. Much better, much better. Now I can like hear it more, you know? Um, let's check on... I want to sidechain a little bit. It's not sidechaining to the delay, that's why. like gentle side chain so we don't get super overcrowded Thank you. It's like sounding kind of just crowded with everything, but um, we're not even close to done arranging it. I'm just like kind of brainstorming. Nice. 
this. Uh, I feel like I have a tendency to make beats that are very like mid heavy. Um, so I'll have to address that a little bit. This isn't so bad, but the mid is very, uh, very, let's check the side. Hold up. Wait. Yeah, wait, hold on, I'm confused. Yeah, there is. Okay, and now what I want to see. Yeah, it's just like a lot of me. Oh, what's up, freak? What genre would I call this? No idea. That still sounds good. <laughs> We're just winging it, okay? Around a thousand. All right, let's uh. Yeah, it's kind of like. Okay, now it's making it like more of like an airy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So unique, different. Thank you. I like that. Yeah. How do I? Yeah. Oh, here, this one. Okay, interesting. Okay, interesting. This funny guy. It already looks a lot better. This funny guy. Let's address this little guy. I love it. I love it because it keeps the volume the same. Like, it doesn't change the volume when you're messing with the EQ. I just, I love it. 
a hard time trying to separate the clashing frequencies. I mean, it shows like a lot of the clashing frequencies. Um, I personally haven't been like worrying about it too much. Sometimes the clashing frequencies sound good, so it's, I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. Like there's some clashing here on the flu right now. But I'm not gonna like worry too much about it. This isn't gonna be the final mix on it either. Like there will definitely be tweaks on this later on. Thank you, NMPRs, for the sub. Maybe I don't need as much presence here on the bass. You feel me? The bass is a very big presence. You can just like kind of take it down there a little. Yeah, the pad is like, it does sound kind of crowded with the pad, but I do want like... Maybe we could do some side stuff on this pad. sides all right all right we're already starting to it's starting to look a little bit better now uh, yeah this is still like it's fine it'll be taken care of later <laughs> but it was a little too crazy before sounds more clean now yeah there's definitely a lot of cool a lot cleaner now um, I still need to like really oh and this guy has not been addressed I love this one by the way but I don't I don't have I, I think maybe for like the intro and like a bridge or something like maybe something like this would be interesting yeah, we could use track spacer as well. That sounds pretty good. Add a piano. Delays a little loud. Is this the one and only Freak? No, it's not Freak, it's someone else.
It's SMW freak. Freak. The freak you know. His E's are replaced with threes. <laughs> You know, I think I want to take out more of the high end again from those chords. It's just like... You know what? Yeah, I took the brightness down a little bit. Freak. <laughs> hey, it's all good, it's all good. Let's get another bass. Yo, that's not what I wanted to do. No, no, no. One second, all right?
I'm back. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. I totally forgot. I had hired a company to come <laughs> by and do some steam cleaning. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for dropping by. And I always enjoy these streams. I always enjoy chatting back and forth with y'all. And uh, yeah, we love free. Oh, yeah, I already saw that. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but stream, thank you. But yeah, thank you. Have an amazing day. Uh, happy Monday, right? It's Monday. Yeah, happy Monday. <laughs> Have an amazing day. I will be back tomorrow. Like always. Uh, but yeah, peace out. Have a great day. See you later. Adios.